Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic, Chapter 221 review. I'm sorry, 212 review. There you go. That's 212 of Magi. Now, listen, this chapter review I need to do in less than 10 minutes. I, I, I have to because I need to go somewhere and plus I need to take a piss. So I have stuff to do and I apologize. But that being said, I will not slack because this is Moggy. Now the thing here is that apparently in the middle of all this, in the middle of all this crazy stuff, between the dirty hands, the filthy hands of Sinbad and Cohen, there's a time skip, or there's some kind of miniature time skip, where in which now they're at the summit. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, I thought that this was gonna take like a, like a long time, because well not a long time, but I thought that it'd be more significant time, like when it comes to like, to like the summit date. I thought that like they were gonna like have this like months later but I think they skipped when it comes to a time sense or it was just it took months to get to Balbad and then from there immediately they would go to the summit and the summit is apparently somewhere between Magnostat and the Rem Empire so the thing here is that some time has passed that's very obvious and what I will say is the fact that you know most well not most but uh, people some of the guys from uh the eight generals are there to actually greet cohen and what i can say is that even though there's supposed to be like no i believe that there's supposed to be like no metal vessel items in the summit like you need to come in there without without any weapons even though that was like part of the rules i believe the thing here is that I'm seeing, I'm seeing some fighting. Oh, I, I'm seeing some fisticuffs. I really am. Like, could you imagine Cohen and Sinbad? Like, fuck, fuck Jim. Just hand to hand, straight fisticuffs. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I can see that. I can see it happening, man. Like, something's gonna go down. All right, and I don't know what's gonna go down exactly, but I see combat actually occurring in the summit. Even though technically all it is is for this one or two days, I don't know how long the story's gonna be, it's gonna be Professor Aladdin, and he's gonna teach his students the history of the world that Lord Solomon ruled for a period of time, all right? Almatora. Now, the thing here is that when it comes to the first half of the chapter, it's Sinbad, second half is Cohen, first half, brutal. Second half, brutal. And I think it's a good thing, actually. I really do. At first, I was like, damn, because I'm really feeling bad for Alibaba. But at the same time, it's good in the sense that he's actually going to start to grow and realize and realize the importance and the magnitude of the extent at which one has to go to defend their country. And I said before, and I say it again, I told you guys. I told you, I told you, I told you. Even though he has, and he says it, even though he has a king vessel, metal vessel, that's the only thing he can fight with. He has no country of, of his own. He has no people to lead. He has nothing. It's just him and his boys. That's it. And I said he has to take Balbad. He has to take Balbad. And he has to lead it and he has to separate it from the rest of the world. He has to make it kind of like Magnostat in a way in, in where in which like they're powerful and they're recognized on their own. So that is going to happen at some point. It, it has to. Now, what is really cool to find out is also I was right again. Yeah, let's, let me continue to brag. I was right. Yes. This dude, Alibaba Saluja, has now become a vessel of Mr. Cohen. So, yeah, he joined. Oh, he joined the freaking dark side. Oh, no, I, I can't call him the dark side. But he's joined uh, the Co-Empire, all right? He's now a sect of the Co-Empire. And that was obvious, because his, his situation was too... It was too great for him not... to not be a part of the Co-Empire. But what Cohen says is... Oh, no, let me go to Simba first. So he joined Cohen, but that's, again, that was given. 
Now, when it comes to the whole thing with Sinbad, Sinbad explains how, yes, I, I will do anything I have to in order to, you know, protect, uh, to protect, protect my country. And he explains Zepar's powers, where via sound waves, he's able to pretty much infuse his own Rook in the mind of an individual that he wants to control. Something along those lines, but it involves either Rook or Magoi. Let's say Magoi. He infuses his own Magoi into the brain. Into the brain of an individual that he wants to control. And he has three people. That is, at most, what his Magoi allows. There is one person in his own country. There is one person somewhere else you don't know. He, can't, he won't tell uh, Alibaba. And there is Kyogoku. So, Alibaba can't marry Kyogoku. There can be no relationship. Even though he has somewhat agreed to the terms that Cohen set for him, and we find that later on in, in the chapter. Even though he somewhat agreed to the terms, the thing about he, he can't marry her when she's being controlled. Hell no. That's not what's happening, man. Like I said before, you're busy. And then he cops in, like, hey, how's everything going? Like, no, no, pause. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. The, the, that is the worst cockwalk in the history of mankind. Of mankind. So, no. Dude, no. No. Sinbad, step back, bro. Get get out of her body. You don't need her right now. Just, step, you know, take a step back, bro. Take, take a step back. Now, the thing here is that basically Aladdin, he's not going to do exactly, well, I'm sorry, Alibaba. He says that. I'm not going to do what you tell me to. And he's going to tell Kyogoku that, yeah, like, you're being controlled by Sinbad. And then we have Sinbad say to him, okay, yeah, you can do that. But imagine the... Imagine what's going to happen to her once her people find out that she's being controlled. How she's going to be ostracized. How she's going to be neglected. How she's going to be shunned by the people, by her brothers, by her sisters, and so on and so forth. And that kind of pain is something that Alibaba doesn't want to put upon her. So Sinbad right now has the upper hand. In fact, everyone except Alibaba has the upper hand. Jeez, it is Alibaba, man. It's gut wrench time. It's time to go. It's time to take about this shit. Mm. You have to pull a damn. Oh, what's the movie called? Mm, shit. It's either a gladiator or it's Braveheart. Like you need to pull one of those two. All right. Are you not entertained, or you have to do some Braveheart shit and lead your people? Revolt. Do something, man. Take up the sword. Fly with Amon. Kill. Shit. Take over. Because I'm sick and tired of Alibaba. I'm tired of him being in these positions where he's so... Where he's always at the short end. He has. He always gets like the shorts. He gets the short stat, pretty much, right? He's always at a position where he has to obey... He has to follow the whims of Cohen and Sinbad. And it's like, dude, or someone else for that matter. It's like, dude, please, just, just take over. Fuck. I mean, I know it's a little bit too early. It is. But he has to take over. He just has to. Okay, fuck. I'm a minute in. One more minute, I'm done. When it comes to Cohen's side, pretty much, he explains how, because the main thing here, I will ask him is, are you an ally of Al Thayman? And he says, no, no. Uh, we're not allies, but Al Thayman is a part of me. Because he is, you know, he, he sees himself as, like, the leader of the Koh Empire. And he, Ali Baba asked this for not only Al Thayman, but, but also for the leader of the nation of, of the Koh Empire. And pretty much what it is, is that it's a part of me. Okay? He is going to take in all the darkness, all the hatred in his country. And he's going to ride that and use it as a sword to carve his path. Not in the sense of abusing the hatred or or utilizing the hatred specifically, like like a Mogamet did, where he actually made like the dark like jinn thingies that are fighting against Alibaba and the others, and how he actually made the origin ball thing that summoned the black god. No, no, no. He's just going to ride the waves. He's not going to try and erase the hatred, but he's going to utilize that hatred for the betterment of the world in his eyes, in his mind. 
and it's not a matter of trusting people, but it's a matter of accepting. I think it's more of like an of like an acceptance kind of thing, where you don't really try and stuff it out. You accept the reality, and you do, and you make the best of that reality. And Haku can't do that. He explains why specifically Haku can never be king, because Haku cannot accept. He cannot. Uh, yeah, he can't accept that hatred. He tries to snuff it out. He's trying to kill his own mother. But what, what that's led to is this individual that we see, Hakuryu, this person who is so, he's so consumed by the dark root, by darkness itself, where he has regressed, where even though Cohen's like a cruel guy, he's a dick, he's a scum, he has not fallen from grace, where Hakuryu, because he cannot accept the hatred, because he, because he cannot accept reality, he has fallen from grace completely. So, and he tells Alibaba, if you rule your country, never ever try and snuff out that hatred. Accept it along those lines. So I'm done. Cause I, I need to go. Oh my god. I need to go. I need to go. So I'll see you guys later. The chapter rating overall, I'm gonna give it a rating of let's say I like the chapter, that was a good chapter. It's mainly exposition and it is pretty heavy. It is really heavy. Because again, Alibaba is gonna be good when it comes to him growing up, him realizing the importance of dirtying your hands for your country. But at the same time, it is pretty heavy because you can tell that himself, Alibaba, he does not want to go this route. But when you see all these great leaders going this route, it is hard to steal yourself. It really is. So I'm done, King Lightning. Be sure, of course, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. The chat rating is good.